Hello internet and welcome to Low Budget Let's Play Final Fantasy 7 episode 28. Last time we recruited a new party member, uh, ran into Sephiroth again, I made a shitty Danny Phantom reference, and then we went off to Mount Newell. And sorry to get lost a little. And now... Where the fuck am I? Man, I'm so lost, you guys. Like, we're never getting off this mountain. Oh, look, it's the reactor. How about that? Guess we might as well go in and check it out. I'm sorry, like nothing exciting is happening, but I'm mostly just being lost. And revisiting all of Cloud's and Tifa's traumatic moments. Yay! Pointless. Oh well. Dum -dum -dum. No, don't shoot Cloud, please. I forgot to equip that gold arm and I stole. Okay. Yeah, see? Poos. So. See what's up this way. 
A new type of enemy. That's what. Zoo. We can't win. Oh. At least we can get wind things, and I don't have any wind attacks. Zoo feels fury. Stole Birdwing. Oh, okay. What does Birdwing do? Rowland and all opponents. Uh, it doesn't. This path doesn't seem to go anywhere. Dead end. Okay. Well then. Let's get a limit break again. We can actually go anywhere this way. Well, we can. Where are we going? Nowhere. We're not going anywhere. I was wrong. I guess I have to go back up to the reactor and then, like, pick up again. Ah, that's a little annoying. But I will. Back we go.
Huh, I think that might be the first time I've used Quake too. Interesting. Yeah, lightning leveled up! I now have Bolt 3! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes! I am the lightning god! <laughs> uh, no one should give me power. Where are all my dragons at? I need to steal shit from them. They got to know. Really used to holding back on the limit breaks for him. Vincent only has one limit break per level, so there's no like you don't have to use it a certain number of times or anything. Zoo feels fury. Well, okay. So uh, what happened there was I apparently recorded so much that the camera ran out of space, so it just turned off. Uh, wow, uh, that was some interesting timing. Amazing timing, actually. Also, uh, something I really should have done long ago. Uh, changing the camera angle so in fights, um, hopefully it won't do the blurry thing so much. Sorry about that. Really should have fixed that long time ago. Okay, um... I looked up how to get items, and I actually missed something a while back, so I'm gonna run and get those, and then we'll come back and get those other items. And hey, it's a dragon again. Yeah, gold armlet. Um, that's a piece of armor, so useful. You know. God, Vincent keeps getting his limit break, which is something because he's still level one. So, uh, as gear limit level is higher, it takes more time to fill up. So, Vincent seems to fill up really fast, but yeah. Do, do, do. Let's see, uh, back down the bridge. <laughs> Should probably be equipping those gold armlets, you know, since I'm stealing them and everything. Um, might as well use this in it. Do you think that I actually heal him? It's interesting. Um, I don't actually remember what I can steal from these things. If anything. Oh, I can steal ethers. Oh, I should be doing that because can always use more ethers. Ow. Okay, so the reason this was healing monsters before is because it does fire damage. And apparently the uh, boss, monster, and dragons are healed by fire. Which, uh, Freedom Bra was actually attacking with fire and just didn't notice it until uh, towards the end. So, points for me being a dumbass. Um, what? No, okay. Around. Yep, see there's an item up there. Man, don't you just love it when you can't tell where the hell your character is? There I am. Um, I'm pretty sure that's for, um, for red, I think. Oh, Amber Carthley can't steal shit from these fuckers, so I'm not gonna bother. Do need to cure though. 
to heal, you know. So, I mean, I'm not watching the camera as I fight, but hopefully having um, done that fixed angle thing, uh, it should be better for you guys. <laughs> so you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I've ever used this one. It doesn't look like <laughs> Yuffie just murders everything. Go Yuffie! Okay, so what we have to do here is go down these pipes. That didn't work. And another dragon. Oh boy. Oh my god, leave you feel alone, you asshole. Ugh, what sucks is I want to do some level grind here. Get up more, um, gold armlets, hopefully. But, uh, I would have to use ethers because, uh, we can't really go back to Midline, if I remember correctly, because, uh, there was a jump at some point along the path. So... No backtracking, and I'm not sure if we can come back here after we go to the next town. I don't know if that'll work. I mean, no way to find out but to try, but... Whatever. I'll figure it out. Okay, I think... No. Oh, I see, so two leads down to the chest, I think. Um, I think it's... I mean, I'm giving them numbers, I don't actually know. I think there's numbers written on them, but I wasn't actually paying attention to the numbers, so... Whatever. Yeah. 
I think I was actually never going backwards. So I went down five first, and three didn't lead me anywhere. But I think four leads me to the chest, and I think one leads me to the rock. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Just not remembering what to do. So I know it's probably really annoying and boring to um, watch me like figure out my materia. I know this. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm gonna. I know this because I get bored watching myself do that. I'm just like, what am I thinking? Why is it taking me so long? Um, literally, I just like don't know what my thought process is when I watch myself do this kind of stuff. So, um, as such, I will be trying to cut that out in the future. I mean, mostly I've been keeping it in because editing and movie maker is a pain in the ass. But also because I feel like you should know what kind of stuff I have equipped. But, um, I can just sort of, like, cut out, like, with the camera, I can just sort of, um, cut out the actual, um, choosing and shit. So. You may have noticed that I have become, um, oh yeah, no, changing into, using it somewhat does heal him. That's interesting. Um, you may have noticed I have become a little more coherent with talking and fighting at the same time. Amazing, right? Ooh, ooh, we're leveling up like crazy. Um, turns into Death Gigas. There we go. Um, this is because I have been doing a shitload of level grinding. Um, not in this game file. Uh, not recently, at least. But um, I started up another game file for reasons. You'll understand when we get there. Um, so I've been doing a lot of level grinding, so I've gotten a lot more used to just sort of fighting in general. Like, I don't have to think super hard about every single move now. I have improved. So now I'm a lot more capable of uh, talking while fighting. I also hope that like these aren't new enemies. Um, I fought all these things before, so I don't have to. There's not as much trial and error going on. But yes, it turns out I can in fact learn. Amazing, right? Um, I didn't know I could do that either. Oh my god, you asshole. Leave Vincent alone. It's really weird how enemies will sometimes just like fixate on one character and just continuously attack that person over and over again. Um, I think... I do wonder if, um, if they tend to attack characters who are, um, like the lowest level character more often, but then sometimes it seems like they don't, so I don't know. Sometimes it seems like they attack the highest level character the most. Sometimes they just attack at random. So I, there's probably a large element of random chance, and I just don't know. I have no idea how it works. I'm just rambling about things that seem to happen a lot. Oh my god, 
Look at everything. Just go. Amazing. Anyways. Seems to power soul. I have no idea what that does, let's find out. Oh, power up when near death. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Uh, anyways, that's the weapon for Tifa. Anyways, I got all those items, so gonna save very fast and then I'm gonna do some level grinding. See you later. Hey, uh, so I did a bunch of level grinding. You'll notice I'm no longer on Mount Nibble. Um, nothing exciting happened when I left. I just changed level grinding locations. Um, anyways, uh, limits have been reached. Um, see, everyone except Vincent has all six of their main limit breaks. Uh, see, Red Scout, Earth Rave. Red holds raves, I guess. Whatever. Anyways, now we're gonna do something a bit special. Now that Red's got the Cosmo Memory. Learn limit skill Cosmo Memory. Right, I've got it. And now, he's got a new limit. Level 4, Cosmo Memory, attacks all opponents. So that's the level 4 limit break, is you have to find these special items, and once a, the character has their first six levels, that you they can learn it from the item. Um, is, but yeah, everyone now has six except for Kate, because he only has two in general. Um, Kate's will be interesting, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to show it to you at one point, but... Anyways, now that we've done that, head off to the next area. First we're gonna kill shit. Nibble wolves. Uh -uh. Whatever. He uses limit break, I don't care. Do -do -do. I mastered a materia! So what just happened there is, um, steel has been mastered. It still level up to mugs, so now I can do damage while I steal things. But it, it's been mastered. It's ee. Um, which means I have a new steal starting from starting over, basically. Um, yeah. So that's what happens when you master materia. Ee. My first mastered materia. Ah. Anyways, here's the next area. What's that? Hmm. Rusty old rocket. Wonder why they made something so huge. Okay, this was in production years ago. Cloud, you really should know shit. Hello. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. The captain? Who's the captain? Captain was a pilot when Shinra was still interested in their space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here dreaming about going into outer space. Did you see a man in a black cape? A man in a black cape? Nope, never seen him. Okay. Can I wait for that woman to walk by again? Gun is a man's weapon. Nothing else will do. <laughs> um, get a shotgun. 
go on my haha I already have I have more than enough actually I like got eight extra ones oops um which uh let's see look at all those high potions look at all those ethers um <laughs> wow I'm so fucking rich, you guys. Oh. But it lowers attack percent. I don't know what attack percent does, so why should I care? Is the question. Um, lowers it by a lot, though. Holy shit. Whatever, I don't know what it does, so I'm not gonna bother with it. One of these things I'm gonna. Excuse me. One of these things I'm going to remember to look up what the hell attack percent and shit does. Hmm, is it real or fake? Oh my god, it's the Mona Lisa! <laughs> Goes to the little place you got here. Welcome to the Shanghai Inn. Some hundred gill night. Yeah. Maybe later. Man, this is a sweet place. You got a nice inn going on. The drink will use your heart. Would you like something to drink? Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative, so you should really talk with him. I'm in here. Nope. Can't go to the bathroom. Man, we haven't gone to a real bathroom since... since Shinra. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cloud. That's... Yeah, damn. Like, this is... Oh, hold on. There we go. But yeah, wow, this is like a real nice inn. Never been to an inn so nice. This used to be a Shinra base where they launched rockets. You saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shinra number 26. Never got off the ground, though. Welcome, this is the item shop. What you got? Hold on. These are new. All Gramps does is gaze at that rocket all day long. And though, you guys got... Is that a pinup poster? You guys got nice places here. This is probably the nicest town we've been to. It just looms there. That's how the town got its name. Shinra number 26. Want to look at the rocket with me? Yeah, let's take a look. I think they would at least maintain it. It's covered with moss and shit. This is the most green we've ever seen around a town, I think. I get so impressed every time I look at it. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a kind of hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. Um, 
I believe that's a sword, actually. Yep. Sword is used when an ally is down. Um, it's two slots lower. But higher attack, lower attack percent. Only two slots, normal growth. Not really worth it. But um, I think that basically means it's stronger if like an ally is knocked out or something. It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. Is it? What do you do? Can you see your toilet? Well, I think, can we talk to him a third time? Yeah, no, like, this is the nicest place we've been. And that's kind of depressing. Oh, hey! See the drill arm? That's for Barrett, I assume. Whoa! Whose house is this? Wait, have we found the captain's house? Yep, we totally did. That's, that's a plan, all right. <laughs> Cloud. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. <laughs> really, Cloud? Well, okay. Want me to keep watch? <laughs> Was this just the Jesse Cloud steal it? <laughs> help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara. And what are your names? I'm Cloud. Vincent. I am... never mind. I'm Eris. Hmm, so you're not Mrs. Shinra? I thought you were bringing approval for the space program. Why does everyone assume we're from Shinra? Like, I know Cloud's like... I think it might be a modified first class soldier uniform, but other than that, like, look at us. What part of us looks like we're from Shinra? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. I guess that's why. That makes sense. Rufus? So, how do I get to the... Type Oh, here we are. What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. Captain? I'm the captain! It's Sid! Hey Sid! The name's Sid. Everyone calls me Captain, though. What do you want? Uh, tell me about the rocket? Wow, not bad for a kid. <laughs> Alright then, I'll explain it to you. You know Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the Meaningless War, right? <laughs> meaningless War. Sid has opinions. Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space. Her dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. <laughs> I mean, come on. And finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everything was going well.
but because of the dumb share, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so, Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans. After they told me how the future was space exploration got my damn hopes up. Damn them! Then, it was all over once they found out Miku Energy was profitable. We didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, Mula, Dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. Aw, Sid. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day, it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. This thing falling over or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Aw, Sid. Uh, but can I ask you about the other stuff? Uh, now he just won't talk. Come on, Sid. Sid, no. Oh, what do you want? Is Rufus coming? Yeah! Must be news about restarting the Speaks program. The young person, that's what we needed. He still has dreams, too. Oh, Sid, you're gonna be so disappointed. Can we borrow the tiny Bronco? You out of your fucking mind? That's my most cherished possession. I can't let you take it. Well, so much for that. I'm probably supposed to ask him in different order, I guess. But whatever. I've been very excited for Sid. <laughs> so, of course, uh, now that everyone else has their limit breaks, we're gonna have to work with Sid quite a bit once we actually get him in our party for real to get all his limit breaks. But that's not like a spoiler or anything. Like, I mean, we had the name selection scene. Come on, we all know. I don't think I talked to you. Everyone in this town was a mechanic back when they were planning to launch the rocket. Excuse me, Cloud? Does the captain say anything? Nope. Oh? Damn it. Shara, what are you, blind? We can't guess. Get some tea. Fucking. I, I'm sorry. That is one thing I don't like about Sid, his treatment of Shara. Like, really, don't mind us. Shut up. Sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea! Ah, damn! I'm pissed. Shara, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. Make sure to serve them some tea, all right? Yes, it kind of takes a spell on that one, Shara. Not entirely deserved. Well, I'll explain it all once we get there. Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. Is it like this all the time? You keep quiet even when he's like that to you? No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear. You were like a snail. Even the moon would get tired waiting around for your ass. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that fucking oxygen tank. Shara, being careful is good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But... No buts! You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. Alright, Captain. Fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel, all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. And pressure rising, shooting number 26, three minutes to launch, beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. The mechanic has filmed the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the lo 
little fucker. I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, goddammit, who the fuck's still there? It's Shara, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shara? What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little fuck. It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be fucking left after when you la when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp! You're gonna die! You know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die! Sid, we must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute! Cher is still in here! What are you going to do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Shara! You want to make me a murderer? Captain! Shara? Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shara. Hurry up. You're gonna die. Three seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. For Sid! Forget about her! We won't make it in time. What? What am I... What am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon, outer space, my dreams. Ignite engine. Shift. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission, to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. I actually feel like this because, like, since verbally abusive, like, he, he kind of just is. Mostly towards Shara, but, I mean, I think he does that towards other people too. But, I think it's nice that we see from the very beginning, he does still value people's lives over his dreams, and like, he's very really abusive, but it was still his choice. I don't know. I like that about Sid. That's why it's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Shara, you still haven't served him tea. I- I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down, or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? There is late. Where is Rufus? Hey, hey, hey! Long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program gonna start up again? Hey, hey! I don't know. Presence outside, so why don't you ask him? Fucking good for nothing, fat ass. Don't say fat. Hey, hey, tea. Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and. Oh, yeah, don't forget the lard. Ew. Um. He just doesn't notice us. Whatever. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then what did you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but it seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now, we think we know where he's headed, but we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. Fucking! First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco. Shunra took our space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Excuse me. This way. 
You want to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Hmm, why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. Uh, hello. Excuse me, Cloud! We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building. When the president was killed. Oh! S -s security But no, Cloud! Oh my god, we have to fight Palmer. <laughs> Hold on, gotta mug him. Mako gun? Hmm. He was stopped. That's what happened there. <laughs> he just changes position every time he's attacked. Well, not every time, but sometimes. That's funny. Driving the plane. <laughs> oh my god. That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. He didn't code. Interesting. Who was driving the plane? Who drove the truck? I can't stop it. Forget it, get in. Uh, who is driving it? Who's driving the plane? No one's driving the plane. How's it going off? How's it not just crashed into shit? Oh, okay. Shinra guys firing guns. Fucking the tail's been hit. Emergency landing. This is gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. Sorry about uh, accidentally stealing your plane, Sid. She won't fly anymore. Aww. Can't we use it as a boat? Fucking do whatever you want. Sid, what will you do now? I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on that town. How about your wife, Shara? <laughs> wife? Don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys gonna do? We're going after a man named Severos. We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up! How about it, everyone? I'm all for it. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls! <laughs> numbskulls? <laughs> yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has gotta be a numbskull. I like it! So, where are we headed? Rufus was going after Sephiroth to the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it? That Temple of the Ancients? Dunno. That numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction. So maybe it's off this way? Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. How to fly the tiny Bronco. Press OK to get on. Cancel to get off. Tiny Bronco can cross shallow waters and rivers. Players can't get on Moffat on the beach. So, uh, now we have a plane. 
Also, I anticipated enjoying Sid, but wow, I really enjoy Sid. Um, so, here's a little thing. We started here, that's Rocket Town. Now we're down here. We flew a long way, holy shit. Also, I don't know if you can actually make it out, I can barely see it, but there's a blinking green nut. I'm pretty sure that's the buggy. Anyways, so here's Wutai, or at least the end of it. Wutai is, is um, a country, by the way. Uh, oh, okay, we can't go. Um, oh, here, look, it's Cosmo Cannon. Doesn't look like we can go around that way. 